So welcome back guys. Uh, last tutorial is I show to you how to deploy our Vue.js app uh, using the SSH deploy. So now is I will show you how to deploy it purely using Docker. So the process now is that we will uh, build the app inside the container and then pass the dist folder to our nginx so i like i like to uh, i'm i like the previous uh way of deployment because uh, this one the i would the early docker is it will eat the resources of your uh server so if you have uh, applications that is running on the same server then you will deploy it so it may cause a uh, lag in your server because during the npm run build uh, it uses a lot of rams the ram it will eat the ram resources <clears throat> so that's all for the info so let's move on i mean for the htop this is this is the the, the the server that i used in the ssh uh, way so it's just as one one core CPU, then uh, one gig RAM. Here in the right side is the server of my friend. I just borrowed it. So it has, the CPU has four cores and then uh, say eight gig of RAM. So let's start. Currently there's no nothing here. So let's clone the the app. By the way, it has two. Uh, I mean, three branches here in the master. Is there's no deployment something. There no. There's no Docker or the SSH. Then here is the purely Docker, and then here is the SSH. So let's clone it. Docker deploy. Here is our application. So just just make so we don't in our env variable we don't need this anymore. Just this one. So we'll be connecting in our previously deployed API. So just we just made the NB file manually. So in our Docker file, here is here are the files in this current. Uh, I mean the Docker file in this branch. So in the Docker file is during the SSH deployment. These are the only lines in the Docker file. So we add these uh, lines. So first is we use the image node 10 and then set as our working directory the user source app and then copy the package json in our working directory then we'll just uh, we run this we use this ap key because our image is alpine so just update the container then install git because there are some packages in our uh, in the uh, in the app side that if you don't have git installed you can't you have we, you will encounter problems during the npm install so next is the npm install only prod meaning that the dev dependencies if you have any dev dependencies here it won't be installed only the dependencies then copy everything to our working directory which is here then npm run build so in a, in the previous is we build the application in our local machine but now is we will be building it inside the container and then this is just as is it's just the same in in the previous the previous tutorial the ssh deploy so that's it so the docker ignore is well ignore these files during the copy command 
and for the default con configuration for our engine x it's just the same the ssh deploy method so that's it so let's go back in our server we'll be making the uh, docker compose so let me just copy something I just copy the Docker file in my in the sample projects here. So let, I will just remove this part here. It's the for the API. So for our service, just name it up, and then for the context is this. Uh, directory copy it and then docker file then the container is just name it up in start and stop so for the volume is the volume is a persistent uh, data meaning if you if every uh, even if you stop the the container the data will remain unless you will delete the volume so this is really useful when you have a database deployed so if you encounter uh, if you will have a server maintenance for example then you will uh, down your uh, container then if you build it again, I mean you run it again the container, the the data is still bigger, still there because you uh, you store it in a volume. So here is the directory, and then this is the working directory in our in our uh, Docker file. This is the working directory. user source app. She is here. So for our uh, volume is I mean for the node modules is let's just make this can put any name you want but for uh, easy to for this easy to identify just put the application here and then underscore node modules so let's expose it to port something any port you want to 70 33 and then delete this so i guess this is the docker file i mean docker compose so let's close it so let's try to build the the app. Let's copy the command from here. Oh, it's the fourth. Okay, copied. Then run. You can do the sudo compose, uh, sudo docker compose build, then you just up it after. So, I'll note then, then copy packages on update, install git, and then npm install only prod. So this process takes a lot of your uh, server resources. The install and the build.
let's just wait for it so let me get the IP of the server while it is building so let's we can visit the application after so the server is uh, bought in app cloud uh, here. here is the IP copy this and uh, save it so the, uh, after the NPM install it will uh, build this is already building and then after building is it will uh, pull the engine x image and then copy the default conf i mean remove the default conf in the image then copy our own default configuration then copy the disk folder in this directory then expose port 80 then run this command and it's successfully built so when we run the rps there are many applications deployed here so we just ignore it so it is successfully installed in this port 7033 so let's try to visit it. Oh. 7033. Oh, I copied the wrong server. Sorry, guys. So here is our application but the data is not loading oh i i down the api i mean i stopped the api so let's up it mm. so let's refresh the app There, so this they I mean this data is from our previous tutorial. So let's add again. Let's try. So added successfully. Then refresh the page. Here's the the new employee working, guys. So there are two ways that I show you so you can just use whatever you want but I prefer the SSH deploy method because it won't eat the resources of your server so that's all guys hope you learned something today and don't forget to subscribe thank you